was uh, 18 points, six of seven from the field, four or five from behind the yard, two of two. What? I mean, <coughs> everything's looked good all year long, and they fell tonight. Why? Um, I think it's just being consistent in the gym. Uh, I mean, it's definitely <coughs> the, the year that I dreamed of having coming here, but uh, to have that happen tonight definitely felt great, uh, especially senior night last night, how I'll ever play here. So uh, hopefully I can build off of it and uh, just keep it going. And could you have picked a better way to end it? No, not at all. And, and, and you look like you were limping a little bit. How do you feel? And are you okay? Do you foresee anything moving forward? Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, you know, back to it. Um, you know, and get right back in the training room. Get back ready for the next one. Obviously, you guys, big time win on senior night. How does it feel overall to be K State and the way you guys did, especially after the tough loss uh, early in the year? Uh, yeah, I mean, like we, I mean, yeah, I, I, I saw how how excited they were after they beat us, and um, I think that definitely uh, kind of you know stuck with some of us. Just you know kind of how excited they were to be. I mean, usually people are excited to beat us because, you know, it's, it's a rare occasion, but um, especially for them. And so I, um, I think we felt a little motivated, motivated coming in tonight, uh, knowing that it was senior night, knowing we wanted to send us seniors out um, on the right note. And so it was, I think it was a you know full team effort. You know, everybody pitched in, everybody played really well. And I think, um, you know, this is a really good stepping stone for us heading into a really tough game against Houston. Hunter, after the first meeting in Manhattan, you talked about maybe doing a little bit more and obviously a little emotional tonight. You had 15, 20, and 5. Um, did you carry that feeling from that loss um, in Manhattan into tonight? I mean, did, was that even a – is it possible to carry something that long? And, and what was um, – I don't know how you feel going in the game. Yeah, no, I, I definitely felt like I did a little bit more out there today. Um, I feel like defensively, you know, I was doing a pretty good job of helping my teammates out there. I'm um, just trying to, you know, be that uh, guy in the paint, helping my teammates any way I can. So I feel like – uh, defensively, I, I did a better job out there. Guys, what what was it like having your family here and having them see them pregame with the roses and all that stuff? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, Towson, we didn't do any of that, so this is all new. Three and zero on senior night, um, which is probably one of the rare things in college basketball right now. But uh, record, I'm I'm happy about. <laughs> Uh, but no, it was awesome having them here. Uh, two of my uncles got to come, uh, one of their bosses, so it was it was great to see. Yeah, um, you know, it's special. Um, you know, our family is our backbone. Um, that's why we get up and do what we do every day. Um, you know, they sacrifice a lot for us to go out here and, and put the jersey on and go out there and compete um, at the highest level. So um, it's a blessing to see all, all of us and, you know, them to get their flowers as well, too. Um, you know, they're the reason we're all here, so. Hunter, just following up on what Chase said a minute ago. Uh, when your shot isn't necessarily falling, do you consciously refocus on other areas of your game? Like, when, when, what's your mindset, and you, how do you end up with 20 rebounds and five blocks in a game like this? Yeah, I feel like that's something that I've definitely approved on. I think, you know, like in my previous years, uh, when my shot was falling, it was hard for me to still kind of affect the game in other ways because um, I felt like I was really an offensive-minded player and kind of really just like heavily relied on that to kind of determine how I played. And I think now, especially playing with really good other players, um, at Kansas, it makes it a lot easier for me uh, to kind of be able to, you know, have like off nights, uh, but still kind of affect uh, the game like defensively. So I think that is something that I think I really, I really improved on. And then Kevin, I, I know Juan was guarding him a lot of the time, but what was the key to shutting down Perry, especially after how effective he was against you guys in Manhattan? Uh, you said it. Um, the Juan did a great job um, fighting through ball screens. Um, Hunter and KJ, um, you know, showed hard on ball screens. It was a collective um, effort. Um, every time somebody switched on him, we all took it um, personal, um, you know, and we had to guard. Um, he's a great player and great guard. Um, and yeah, DeWan got up in him um, and he competed the whole night. Guys, what was it like having seven different players being recognized tonight, being able to go through the senior night festivities with, with so many players? Uh, it's, a, it's a brotherhood. Uh, we've been here since June, so to see all of us get a uh, like Kev said, get our flowers tonight. It was uh, it was special. Yeah, it was special. Um, that's what senior night's for. Um, I've been part of two of them now, so um, yeah, both of them were really great, and uh, you know, I'm glad that uh, we we went out how we did. And then after that that first uh, spurt by by Kansas City, you guys were able to really lock down on defense. What was it the change for you guys, and then what can you use from that experience moving moving forward? 
Um, really, it's about guarding. Um, you know, that's the main thing that we preach every day. Um, shots are going to fall. Um, every time you shoot the ball, it's 50-50 chance if it's going to go in or not. Um, one thing that we can control is our energy and effort on the defensive end. Um, and every night we got to bring that. Um, we got to we got to travel with that as well, too, on the road. Um, and uh, coming here soon, it's going to be games where um, it's winner go home. So, you know, you got to play um, every possession like it's your last. Kevin and Hunter, Nick talked about how this year has gone from so far. It's how cool is it for both of you to see him have a night like tonight in his last game here? Uh, no, nah, um, it's great. Um, you know, yeah, everybody um, can criticize, you know, making shots, um, but he affects the game in many other ways. Um, he's coming in, he's working. Um, last person to lead a gym, getting shots up. Um, that's all you can ask. Um, you know, for, for us, it's our last year. It's our last shot at this. Um, so, you know, we really just, just locking in and trying to do this thing, um, you know. But, yeah, um, it was great to see him go out there and do what he does best, just put the ball in the hole. And, um, you know, he's not just a shooter. He's an athlete, too, in transition, getting on the rim. Um, he affected the game in many ways tonight. Yeah, I, I, I would piggyback off that. Um, you know, I think, you know, a lot of the players aren't really surprised uh, by it. I feel like, you know, some fans might be. But I think the players aren't really surprised uh, when Nick goes out there and plays like that uh, because we see the work he puts in. Like Kevin said, um, he's always getting shots after practice, before practice, stuff like that. So um, he's really working on his game, and I think it was really good uh, to see him, you know, really succeed out there tonight. You know, shout out, you know, all the, all the you know, the, KU burner accounts. I think you know they called the legacy game tonight. So, <laughs> what has Bill Self meant to you all? Um, you know, in, in, your, in your time here, what has he meant to you all in, in the things that he's done for you to help you all elevate your game? Uh, I'm leaving here with a new name, um, Soft. I mean, he calls every player that. So, I mean, it's a blessing uh, being able to be coached by him. Uh, I I wouldn't have traded for anything. I'm extremely happy I came here and. To be able to be coached by the, the best coach in the country is, is amazing. Yeah, um, the last two years playing for him, uh, not only on the court, but um, you know, off the court, um, he's teaching me how to be a real leader. Um, you know, he's, he's made me grow up a lot um, and showed me so much and um, you know, just, just done helped me um, along my way and along my journey. And I can't thank him enough for all he's done for me. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, um, you know, like just the way he treats his bright players and kind of just demands, you know, a lot more from them. And I think, you know, just the fact that um, you're either going to probably leave the university or you're going to, you know, come out, you know, a man and really like ready to take on the world um, because of just, you know, the way he, he kind of demands excellence and kind of treats you, um, you know, like an adult and how like, you know, in the real world and stuff like that. And so um, I feel like he's done a great job with me personally, just kind of expecting more and demanding more from me and putting me in situations that I haven't been in to kind of just see how you know, I'll react and, and, and either I succeed or fail. So um, he's done a really good job of, you know, getting me outside my comfort zone. Hunter, the, the one more year chance from the fans. What's kind of your reaction to that? And what goes through your head when you hear that? I mean, I, I already have a decision to make. No, I'm just playing with Josh. <laughs> 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 um, no, I mean, like, obviously, you know, it's there, you know, COVID year. <laughs> um, you know, I, I obviously haven't made a decision yet and more kind of just letting the season play out. Like I've been fortunate to kind of go through this process where I don't know what I'm going to do for the last like four years now. And so I'm kind of used to it. And I know like I would definitely want to have a decision before the end of the year because, you know, a lot can change from now to the end. And hopefully, you know, we, we run the table, win six in a row and, um, you know, just have, kind of figure it out after something great like that. So that's the plan, just waiting and hopefully win a daddy and then, you know, have to have a hard decision after that. Got time for one more, guys. Hey, Kevin and Hunter, I wonder how big that final defensive possession of the first half was. You got to stop cleaning up a, seems like a play you guys maybe haven't been making, but you did that tonight. Yeah, um, you know, that's something that coach has been talking to us about, um, you know, the end and a half right and late game. Last four minutes, we got to start getting stops. Um, we haven't been doing that um, in close games. And uh, yeah, today I feel like we took a step forward. Um, you know, we blew a ball screen coverage, um, but Hunter on the back end um, just showed effort and got one of his five blocks. Um, so he's affecting the game in many ways. But yeah, um, we, I feel like that was a step in the right direction. And, and sort of following on that, like you got up big and then you put him away. That's another thing that's just kind of been an issue all year. Anything different tonight that, that allowed you guys to, to keep your foot down? Um, just competing, playing hard. Um, like Coach said, it starts on the defensive end with us. Um, if we can get out and transition and run, uh, it makes the game fun, it makes it easier for us. Um, but yeah, on the defensive end, that's where we got to make our, make our stand. All right, thanks, fellas. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.